The Second Life Workspace Awareness Toolkit and Collaboration Hub, or Second Watch for short, is a three-dimensional workspace awareness tool used to visually represent coworker and artifact awareness information to software engineers within the 3D world of Second Life. The developer has two windows displayed in the screen. The left window is the Eclipse Interactive Development Environment, or IDE, and the right window is Second Life. The developer imports a project from the CVS repository and the visualization of the project is dynamically created within Second Life. The visualization uses a 3D city metaphor. City buildings are shown as differently colored stacked cylinders to represent files, and city districts, shown as flat blue rectangles, to represent packages. The buildings were visualized stand on top of the blue rectangles representing nested packages, with the layout of the city representing the overall file structure of the software project. From the visualization in the video, we can tell the number of the revisions the class has by the amount and height of the cylinder stack. A single cylinder represents a revision with its color mapping to the author of that revision. However, if successive revisions have the same author, the corresponding cylinders will be combined into one cylinder, whose height is the sum of the individual heights of all the revisions. Cylinder stack is sorted by date, such that the most recent revision is always on top. In this way, it is easy to guess how many revisions a class has, who the author of the latest version is by the color of the top cylinder, and who has committed the most revisions in total by viewing which cylinder is the highest and its color. The developer now activates task number 21 in his Eclipse IDE. Switching to Second Life, we can see that the task description has appeared above the developer's name. Active artifacts are all the files that have changed from the developer's local workspace but are not yet committed to the central repository. When one developer changes a class locally, a 3D model representing that developer is added to the top of the corresponding building, i.e. stacked cylinders, and the model then rotates around the building. The developer has now started to modify the file localChangeListener.java in his Eclipse IDE window. By switching to Second Life, we can see that a red fish represents that developer and is rotating on top of the corresponding stack cylinders. Red smoke is also coming out of the building and rising to the sky. A yellow rabbit appears on top of the red fish and the smoke turns yellow. This shows that another developer is also working on the same file. From the text, we know the developer Lev is also editing the file. If more than one developer is changing the same class, which may incur conflict, the whole building will shake. Through this animation, developers can easily tell the popularity of a file, and then decide whether or not to make changes on that file, since changes may incur conflicts to other developers. Finally, the two developers commit their change to the CVS repository. After they finish committing the change, the rotating tokens with the smoke corresponding to that file disappear because there are no local changes to that file taking place. Meanwhile, two more cylinders have been added since two more revisions in the repository have taken place. Second Watch was developed to foster better collaboration between software developers by allowing them to visualize their developing activities based on source code structure in a 3D interactive environment.